but there are lots of occasions on which you might be called upon to make a speech in public. Let's say you're involved with an organization and you want to share that mission, that vision with people at maybe a TEDx or a Pecha Kucha. That's a really obvious public speaking event. But also perhaps you're in business and you're doing a presentation to potential clients or a sales presentation to your own workforce. Maybe you're an artist or a writer um, having an opening or a, a launch party for your work and you want to explain your vision to people. Maybe it's a wedding. Maybe you're the parent of the bride or the groom or the best man or the best woman and you want to make a speech. So there are all kinds of occasions on which you might want to be public speaking. And most people find this whole prospect very, very intimidating for a couple of reasons, both because you are the center of attention and you want to get it right, um, but also because sometimes it's hard to know exactly what it is you want to say. And the two things go together because if you know exactly what you want to say and you feel confident in delivering your message, your vision, uh, your congratulations, in a really compelling way, then you're going to feel more confident about doing it yourself. So maybe your voice won't shake quite as much, or maybe your hands won't shake quite as much. Now, how to make a speech and inspire your audience. That's the subtitle by Barry Barton. This is a book that Barry and I have been working on for a couple of years. Um, I've edited it and published it with our company twice five miles and I am really really proud of it. This is a very very good book. It's comprehensive so it takes you all the way from like figuring out what your message is, what you want to say, organizing your speech, crafting it in such a way that you draw your audience in, you take them with you and you leave them with a sense of inspiration and being energized to do whatever it is you've asked them to do. And what you've asked them to do may simply be to raise their glasses and toast the bride and groom, or it may be to go out and buy your product, or it may be to, I don't know, uh, save the rainforest or start a recycling project in your town. Uh, but whatever it is that you are making this speech for, this is the book that will show you how to do it step-by-step, step, easy, concise, clear, and what I love about it is because it's focused on inspiring your audience, it inspires you to make the speech because what we all want to do when we're speaking to a group of people is to inspire them. You know, it's not like grit your teeth and get it over as quickly as possible. You know, that's an ordeal and it may still be a bit of an ordeal for you if, you know, you find all eyes on you being a, a nervous making thing. But if that is in the service of something that you believe in, whether it's your love for the, the bride and groom, or whether it's your belief in this product that your company has to sell, or this mission that your organization is, uh, is working for, that greater purpose is what makes you feel confident. It makes it feel like this is a good thing to be doing. Maybe you're a, an academic and you're sharing your research at a conference. There's another example of when you would be making a speech. So I'd really like to encourage you to check this book out. You can find it at twice5miles.com. You can get it in paperback or as an ebook, a downloadable PDF from our website or on Kindle or iBooks. Um, it's on all the, all those platforms. And I think you will find it incredibly inspiring.